Welcome or welcome back and I need help at C squared. In this example we look for a line that is perpendicular, perpendicular on a given line, right? This is a given line, goes through this point A and B, right? And we're looking for a line that is perpendicular, something like that, and goes through C. Now we're going to do that. Right? First of all, we're going to need to find the slope of the given line, this one. And let's count. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. Rise over run, right? That's the thing I did. And oh yeah, it go, it's going down from it, right? So this is going to be negative two thirds. And I'm going to call this one M1, right? Because this is first line, L1. We're looking for a second line. And the slope of the second line is negative reciprocal. So what does it mean for us? Oops. Okay, this is negative two thirds, right? So if it's negative, that is going to be positive, the, op the opposite. And the reciprocal of two thirds is three halves. So the slope of the second line is three halves. And now we have two choices. We can use this guy, which is called the slope intercept form, or this guy, use this form now and what do we get and uh, by the way if I use that the slope like I said is three halves and now the x and y are nothing goes to the coordinate of point c which is negative three and four so let's see what we get so we're gonna get y equals four equal and x okay three half because n is m is three halves x is negative three and again i need to find this b that's that's the way we do this form so again here four equals negative nine over two right because three times negative three is nine negative nine plus b and we're gonna add nine halves here to four now it's good if you remember that 4 is nothing else than 8 over 2, right? So what do we get here? We get here b equals 8 over 2, right? Plus 9 over 2, 17 over 2. Well, that is how much b is, 17 over 2. So we have now the equation, right? 3 halves x plus 17 over 2. Unfortunately, this is not the standard form. This is the slope intercept form. So we're going to multiply it by 2. Okay. By 2. And we have here 2y equals 3, right? Because these two cancel these two. 3x and these two cancel the other two, distributive property plus 17. The only thing I'm, I'm going to do here, subtract 3x and we have negative 3x plus 2y equals 17. Okay. This is a good form for some people. Some people don't like the negative 3x, so we're going to multiply by negative 1 or change the signs and you get this one. So be careful, some people like, like the, uh, the, the first term to be a positive guy. And that's it. Oh, by the way, we have a graphical way here. This is the guy we, we found out. Uh, 3x minus 2y equals negative 17. 3x minus 2y equals negative 17 is this line. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to click the like button. And come back, I see square for more help. Thank you.